Joining me now is Frank Chaparro. He is director of news at The Block. Frank, what do we know about these plans? How significant are they? It's been pretty significant for the market uh, since the beginning of the week. We've seen a wide range of traders try to front run the buying of billions of dollars over the course of the next you know, couple months to serve as the reserve for this stable coin. And, and it's been interesting to see in the face of geopolitical uncertainty and a narrative of tightening monetary policy, one crypto whale hijacking the driver's seat of what is known to be a very volatile market. Although, is it because he's doing something that is symbolic of what may still be yet to come? Or is this still a sign of, uh, you know, how small, let's call it, uh, Bitcoin is and how much it can be moved by sort of one investor or one set of headlines? I wouldn't say that it's necessarily being moved by one person. What you have is an asset which has been gripped by a broader macro uh, environment or narrative with not a lot of good news. There hasn't been that much good news across markets. And so finally, you have something bullish for traders to cling on to. This, this gentleman, Do Kwan, coming out and warning the market, warning the bears, the goblins that they, they refer to them as, the, the short sellers, that they're coming in. And so traders don't want to get caught flat-footed as someone in the market is buying. So it's not so much him specifically, but the narrative shift of him saying that he's going to do this, and then other traders, the, the bullish ones, kind of finally piling back into the market, and the bearish ones kind of sitting on the sidelines because they don't want to get caught shorting or selling as this person is buying. Yeah, and his organization but, is Terraform. Sorry, Terraform Labs. Uh, UST is his stable coin. It's pegged to the dollar. It has a market cap of around $16 billion already. So it's decently sizable. But is this project really promising 20% yields? Uh, I, you know, just it, it, explain a little bit how this works. Yeah, basically, I mean, this is, the, this is what's drawing so many folks to this market. The yield opportunities are extremely juicy. And so... When you think about their position in the space, it's one of the many different stable coins. And what they're trying to do is have it reserved back by Bitcoin to provide a bit of stability, right? Obviously, different stable coins have different backing. There's algorithmic stable coins. There's US dollar backed stable coins like USDC and Tether, which have sometimes commercial paper backing or dollar reserves. So this is just another. Um, project in this very fast growing space. I mean, the amount of stablecoin out there in terms of supply is well over $100 billion. Right. How are they generating 20% though? I don't follow. Yeah, basically the way it works is um, you have a very hungry demand for cash in the Bitcoin ecosystem, right? You know, people are sitting on their crypto and they don't want to sell it. Right. So what they'll do is they'll lend that out and then that's where the, the yield generation is coming for. They'll pay a very high premium to be able to lend out cash so that they don't have to sell. Sure, and it's sort of a staking project, one of many that we've seen people offer pretty high yields on. It's just that 20% is a really high one. And I will leave uh, the Bitcoin community to resolve the leverage that may be inherent to this, much the same way we had to resolve the leverage uh, in kind of the traditional financial system back in the day. Final point on this, um, where would you say, after we kind of get through this catalyst, the main risks lie around Bitcoin prices to the up and downside as we move into the next couple of months here? Well, what I will say is that the fact that this move has stimulated and re-energized the market is pretty significant. I mean, I remember covering the space in 2017, and everyone had their eyes on Wall Street and Goldman Sachs. And when the big investors say something about crypto these days, no one cares. But this, you know, Forbes 30 under 30 blockchain startup founder is coming out and saying that, the, that he's going to buy uh, through a vehicle, obviously, billions of dollars in Bitcoin, and the whole market kind of galvanizes around him, not Wall Street, crypto. So I think that's definitely a sentiment shift or a, a change in the dynamic. When I think about the risks, right, obviously macro remains a big risk. Bitcoin does not like uncertainty under any circumstances. But right now, this is in the driver's seat because 
traders are, are sitting back if they're bearish. And those that are, are bullish, we're seeing like several $50 million plus notional call buyers in Bitcoin across the curve from April to de December maturities mm -hmm. in anticipation of this spot buying. We got that from Josh Lim at Genesis. So yeah. right now this is in the driver's seat.